What's happening, super chum friends? Welcome back to our recall. Let's play. Happy Paul, you excited? You excited for this? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to delving in deep to recall. You're just excited not to be playing Shenmue, aren't you? Um, well, to be fair, you were playing, uh, and I was just <laughs> observing. And for the yeah, and for the casual observer, it's quite a dull game to like, watch. Yeah, we got some salty dog legs. Oh. Uh, I'm probably like, if anyone was actually watching our Shenmue's and hearing what I was saying, they'll be outraged. <laughs> even like little kids. If anyone was watching. <laughs> and even the little kids who weren't alive when it was out and, you know, don't have the same nostalgia. But like, how dare you? It's a classic. <laughs> oh, LA. Ah, stop it. Oh, man, you're getting fucked up. What have you got this on? It's normal. I'm not sure if there actually are difficulty uh -huh. um, It's settings. not one of those things you have to unlock, is it, when you complete the game? I don't think so. <laughs> so it's just one standard um, difficulty. What's all the numbers? Why is it Borderlands? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut that already. So now we seem to be going back. Backtracking rules. Back the way we came. Ooh, really. yeah. Got to try and remember the buttons now. It would help if you did remember that. Oh, I've got a waggle. You, you ain't got an excuse of like, oh, it was about, it was about two decades ago since I last played it. That was Shenmue. I was just trying to remember what the button is to like make Mac attack. Oh. I couldn't remember if it was X or Y, but it's Y. Yes. I don't want you. I don't want to hear those excuses anymore. Give me a core. Give me a core, bitch. He blew up. He really did. That's not a thing. So I can what's shoot. our objective here again? What, what, you know? We're looking for prismatic cores. Oh, all right, all right. Super all special right. cores. Super special cores. And we got the red gun last time, if you yeah. remember. Yeah, I do. You see on the D-pad right. down the bottom left, you can switch for the really colour of your laser. Yeah. So white is basically your neutral. Yes. And then you've got like colour-coded enemies. Okay. It's quite still uh, for a, a mid-budget game. I think it's it's still a quite, game. still quite nice looking. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> smacked your face right <laughs> on that face. Mate. Yeah, man. Oh, you... someone's just popped out of the ground somewhere. Uh oh no, Mac. Oops. I Rush in there. Ow. I pressed uh, X. Uh huh. And then I accidentally tried to extract too early. Yeah, that's that's what happens in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 oh, sex jokes. <laughs> Hilarious. That, that, was, that was a good one. Thank you. It's quite quick witted. I enjoyed uh, it. Oh, Christ. I used to be out. very quick witted, but then I, I discovered alcohol. And yeah, my I, weapon leveled up and Matt my, leveled up. My brain slowed down. That <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, tends to happen. Yes. You know, when you like don't drink for like a really long time, you feel really smart. You feel so smart, your body feels so but much better. You just everything, and you go to the gym every other day. Mm. Yeah, it's just like you're, you're not bloated, you're not full of gas, you're not lethargic, you just feel good. But then, then why do we drink then? Like, <laughs> <laughs> afterwards, you're like, really <laughs> do you know what? Afterwards, you're like, you know what? I could really do with a drink, <laughs> even though you feel fantastic. You look better, you smell better, everything's just better. And then you just go, you know what, I really could do with a drink. Let's go and get shit faced. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so we got these red switches here. Yeah. There's a lot of colour matching in this game. So this is just colour matching the game, then? Is that what you're saying? It's kind of like the new DMC, well, the old Devil May Cry, when it was all like colour, enemies all colour coded. That's what people didn't like, well, amongst many things about the the uh, rebooted DMC. Whereas well, for me, that's the only one I've completed. Yeah, I I, I liked it <laughs> I when liked I played it. it. I thought it was really good. It didn't help that the original release release of it was thirty frames. Mm. It felt a lot better when it was sixty in the definitive edition. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Now they got the uh, they're continuing on with the uh, original story of. Uh, with, De uh, with Devil May Cry 5. Mm, which does look really fucking good. Yeah, I remember playing um, DM4, um, De Devil May Cry 4, and I got stuck. When I took over as, um, you play as Nero, then you switch over to Dante, then you're basically backtracking on yourself. Yeah, that's where I stopped playing. Uh, I bought it at launch, I've got the Steelbook edition and everything. Mm. 
I just remember I got lost on this one part. I was just like, where am I supposed to go? I was just going in circles. And much as I like Dante, I was like, oh, no, I don't want to play the same fucking level again. Just back on myself. So I thought, fuck it. I'm not playing it anymore. It's cool. No, too early, was he? Yeah, I wasn't too early. I was oh. trying to do it quickly. Oh, all right. See, you, you've got to take your time when me. you're getting the calls. You've got to pull it at the right time, if you know what I'm saying. There you go. Ow. Let's, let's not try and pull cores out when someone else is trying to shoot me. No. It's a bad idea. Gotta relax and take your time when now you're pulling a core. Cool. Yeah, yeah. No, my core! No! Man, they're just flying out. You know what I saw the other day? Smart I think, I think it was on GameSpot. I was like, yeah, this is good. I've got to finish the other games. It was the new Metro yeah. uh, Exodus. Gameplay, 15 minutes of it, and it'll, 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 it'll fucking That's amazing. That's so good. They I've will, only played the first one, so I'll play them. They were playing it on the One X. So yeah, I, like, I think I saw the same video yeah. like yesterday or the day before it went up. Yeah, that was really good. I was like, damn. I mean, I remember playing the first one. I got the, the Xbox One edition of versions. Yeah, I, I've got. I bought twenty thirty three on the th when it came out on the three sixty because mm -hmm. they were saying, "Oh, it's the best looking console game out at the moment." I was like, "I'll buy it just to see how it looks." I'll buy because you know back then I could afford to actually just buy games for the fuck of it, uh -huh. and um, I just couldn't really get into it at the time. But then when they brought out the ah, Metro Redux, was it? The yeah, that's two, what I got. The one and two. two games on it. I bought that and I played one, but I haven't played Last Light yet. Because on on the Redux edition, they um, changed the gameplay of the first one to to suit the, to the second one, so it's like they're, apparently they're different different um, styles. So I was just like, okay. Yeah, I think a lot of people complained at the time that Last Light was a bit Call of Duty ish. Yeah. So I switched it to the second one uh, style. So. Uh, what did that switch do? Don't know. I'm not really paying attention to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Hey, look at that. That looks really good. Well, that black void. Not that black void, <laughs> but the the uh, the cave system. Oh, quite detailed. Yeah, I, uh, I genuinely think it's a nice looking game. Mm. It's one of my favourite new IPs this gen, honestly, and I think it has tons of potential. Just and the sequel the could be fucking amazing. Do you do think Microsoft just didn't push it? I remember they they had a, the um, when they unveiled it, then we didn't hear anything about it, and it just sort of went under the radar. Yeah, I think it was kind of a victim of sort of that period of the yeah, Xbox One's life where Microsoft were kind of... Being shitty. Yeah, just sort of like cutting budgets all over the place. Yeah. And, uh, we should have a swig of beer. Cancelling oh, Fable Legends, cancelling yeah. Scalebound. Oh my god. And they were just like, oh, so no, we're not putting any more budget into this. Pissed thing. off with that. Just cancelling Scalebound. I was really looking forward to that. I was. It's a pl nice platinum exclusive on the Xbox. Big action RPG as well. Oh, yeah, it looked fucking good. It was so close to finishing it. I was like, whoa, 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 just fucking release. I can't believe old Phil, old Phil Spencer would have allowed that. Yeah, again, I think I think it's just a victim of kind of... It probably needed more time because Platinum were working on tons of stuff at the yeah. time. And I kind of get the feeling it was sort of like um, falling behind just because of their workload. I, I feel like if it was now, Phil, Phil Spencer would just be like, just take the time, get it done. I think that's their new philosophy now, isn't it? Mm. That's why they bought all these studios and they're going to give them the time and resources to just make a good game. Because they were under the um, Windows division at the time. Oh. Like Terry Myerson, who ran the Windows division, apparently didn't much like um, Xbox. So he was like, starving them of budgets, apparently. So I kind of think that's probably why sort of this came came mm -hmm. out as a mid-budget game with a bit buggy at launch. Fable Legends got canned. Um, there's a prismatic core. Well, Fable could be making a comeback now, isn't it? Yeah, they seem, they seem to have trip. a massively increased budget all of a sudden. Yeah, where did that, all that money come from, from? They've gone from like being starved for budget and cancelling games to like buying six <laughs> studios and yeah. starting up a they new have one. Got billions. They're like Nintendo. They got billions stored away. I was just mm. like, why aren't they just using it? That's the thing people were saying. Like before the Switch came out, they could have another gen like the Wii U, which completely failed, and it wouldn't even mm. it wouldn't even touch them because um, they've got so much money stored uh, up from from the yeah, uh, the golden years. So, 
I mean, those things sold ridiculous mm. numbers. And now the Switch has sold fuckloads as well. Yeah, it's doing very, very well. Right. Deservedly so. The only, yep, the only problem I have with the Switch is when you get a game and the portable performance is really bad. I'm not sure what that Switch does. It's open something. Um, yeah, like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 looks horrible a lot of the time in handheld mode. Oh, yeah. And I mainly use the. Where do you go? Use it as your hand primary. Yeah, yeah, I use primarily it primarily as a handheld. handheld. And I, I oh. played like 90% of, um, of Xenoblade in handheld and it genuinely looks horrible at it times. Looks like but arse sometimes. It's a good game. But it looks. I mean, you put it on the TV and yeah, okay, it's like 720p mm. but it still looks really nice. Um, you know that Nintendo have gotten rid of that partnership deal on YouTube? Yeah. We can actually start putting some Nintendo games on the channel now. We could. Mm. I mean, that's took them long enough to get rid of that shit first. Uh, I mean, that's what I think a lot of YouTubers stopped doing Nintendo games mm. because of that way Nintendo were with copyright. The whole partnership thing meant as well you could only do Nintendo games, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, you had to basically dedicate your entire channel to Nintendo. Yeah. YouTube takes a takes a chunk and so does Nintendo take a chunk of your earnings mm. so what the fuck but yeah, now they got rid of that maybe they'll be more lenient with YouTubers showing their videos not claiming them so we could do a YouTube, we could do a Switch game or something in the Looks future like it's boss time I think this might be the first oh no the first boss actually just t- changes colours but you couldn't do anything about he it he looks extremely pissed off he does look quite angry and spiky yeah. doesn't he he's like a ram he is a ram isn't it skullcracker yeah. Else in the imaginative name, isn't it? <laughs> of course, it is. What's the boss battles like on this? Are they quite challenging or? Um, or is it just shoot, the... shoot, oh, correct colours. Yeah, and like things like that, like dodge mm-hmm. the pattern kind of things. The platforming is the most challenging stuff. Well, it is a platformer, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. And that's, that's what I like about it, especially sort of. Um, a bit later in the game. Oh, oh Christ! Where he's got minions. He's got minions. Honestly, God damn I thought it. that was Mac for a second. Yeah. Does your health regenerate, or does it? Do you need like? I think it does. Oh, it's got really yellow. Think. Oh no! You don't have a yellow gun, do you? I don't. So you just got to like just avoid it until it changes colour, or? I mean, you can still oh. do damage to it, but not as much. Um, with the. Mm. White gun. Mm-hmm. He's ex- he's extremely annoyed at you shooting his his head. He is. Mm, stop not, shooting me. Yeah, stop it. Not really quiet. Mm. We're nearly there. But yeah, like the the final sort of dungeon in the game, the mm-hmm. Eden Tower has some amazing platforming sections in it. Mm-hmm. See if we can get his core out. Take that bastard core out. Is it too early? Oh wait, you did it! Oh, oh, he was all showing all mouth and no, no trousers. No, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, I was going to ask, what were we drinking today, Rosie? Yeah, drinking Hop House Thirteen. Ooh, which is very hip lager, basically. Very hip. We're Shoreditch wankers, yeah, as the beards and everything. Yeah, yeah, I've actually got beards. <laughs> I'm actually dressed a bit of hipstery today, you know. What, with a gu- Guilty Gear t-shirt on? No, yeah, apart from that. <laughs> <laughs> I had. A, I was wearing my um, trademark uh, Czech shirt. Right, I think we're heading back to the dungeon entrance now. So you, you did all you need to do. Well, to now it's time, this, now, this thingy, now it's time to go home. Here. Activate pile. Oh yeah, that's what we came here for. Oh, the pylons are the things that are supposed to terraform the surface. Oh, right. Do you remember when we walked into the new area? It was like like mm-hmm. kind of like listing to one side. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we found these prismatic cores, and she's realised there's loads of energy in them. Uh-huh. So she thought, oh, maybe we can use one of those to reactivate the pylon. Oh, okay. It's a smart, smart thinking. She's a. She's a smart person. You know what this reminds me of in a way? What's that, that Mass Effect Andromeda when you have to reactivate the uh, mm. those um, the what? undergroundy bits. Yeah, the undergroundy bits. I can't remember what they're called either. 
Yeah, I've never actually made that connection, but yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Like when you have to do a terraforming or make the planet more viable, just switch it on. Never did finish that game. Oh, I didn't either. There was a lot I liked about it. It yeah. was undeniably a bit chonky, but yeah. there was a lot I quite liked about yeah. it. Yeah. My sister completed it. She's been on a bit of a gaming tear up. Oh yeah. Yeah, she completed that. She re she did another uh, uh, playthrough of uh, Dragon Age Dragon Age Inquisition. Blimey. Cli <laughs> That's complete, a long game. Complete Mass Effect three. Hey. Now Blimey. she's doing a, another playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Bloody hell. Mhm. Mm Going in hard. Yeah, man. She's doing. She's become the new Dan. <laughs> mm. For reference. Dan mm. used to be a friend of ours. No, that's, that's me. Dan, Dan used to be on the channel with us. He's still on the channel in a way because he's on the fucking artwork. <laughs> so I still need to get a new picture of us. But we used to call him Marathon Dan because when he was out of work for a bit, he just he would just game, play games all, all day, all. every day, and mm. just finish. He'd just get through a game in like yeah. a week, a like huge game in a week. Yeah, and my sister's like just... She doesn't go out that much anymore. So all she does is game. She's like, I'd rather just be indoors gaming with a cup of tea. I was like, oh, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Getting old. Uh. She's the youngest one of us. Uh. Actually, no, she's slightly young, older than Dan, isn't she? No, she's born. On, they're born in the same year, but she's... Yeah, her birthday's first, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, it's her birthday today. It is indeed, yeah. Not by the time this video goes no. out, but... No, happy, happy birthday happy from birthday, back then, Laura. Laura, yeah. I'm her brother and I didn't get her, I haven't got her or anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking forgot. When you get home later, just like heart, nice hearty handshake. Yeah. There you go, happy birthday. Or maybe a cheap card. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so mm. that should... The thing with this game, before Elisa were talking about <laughs> there being like sandstorms that changed the layout and like dynamically mm -hmm. changed the areas and mm -hmm. stuff and that doesn't really happen there are sand storms in this alright um, I mean there was one when we entered this mm. dungeon but it was mm. just like a set piece really alright uh, and there's the squid like pylon getting underway I really like Joel I think she's a really good character underappreciated yeah I think it's because uh -huh. the um, game wasn't really played by that many people no I think people just expected a bit too much like people they saw, oh, look, third person action adventure. I guess mm -hmm. this is Microsoft's stab at Uncharted. Mm -hmm. And it's, if you take it as like a mid budget sort what? of action the platformer. Fuck? Oh, no, there's tribal fucking. The, um, the machines have arranged themselves. Team. So that's the primary antagonist. Uh huh. He looks Victor. very, very, very intimidating. He looks very antagonistic. Yes. The sands have shifted, revealing new adventures. You are now free to explore off the main story path, seek out hidden dungeons, mm -hmm. and um, where the fiercest enemies... Fiercest? That's not even a word. Yeah. Fiercest enemies guard the best loot. Collect blueprints, crafting materials, cores, and experience points by defeating wandering core bots. Upgrade your core bot companions at the workbench inside Jules Crawler. Those are our fast travel points. Well, let's get back to your crawler and um, let's get all that sand out of your cracks. <laughs> sand out of your bits. Yeah. You're... Let's just uh, grab all the goodies around here while we... you got to do that, Ross. You've got to treat yourself sometimes. While we can. Yeah. But yeah, sort of the game sort of opens up at this point. It's fairly linear until now, but there are sort of optional challenge dungeons and stuff you can do and the world is fairly large you can mm -hmm. just sort of roam about and there are prismatic cores which are sort of the main currency of the game really oh, this 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 level does remind me of the first planet you're in uh, mass effect what was the first planet called i can't even remember i remember it being yeah. a sand planet yeah. it really reminds me of it fucking hell oh what was that planet called oh, i can't remember that's how much i remember that fucking game <laughs> it's how memorable it is oh jesus Collect some goodies, so we've got some stuff to upgrade with. Oh, uh, someone wants to kill me. Look, if I'm trying I, to kill me. Uh, I, I, I come to the conclusion, if someone's trying to kill you, you've got, you got, got to kill them first. Do Don't be like Batman and just like lock them up and then they <laughs> escape again and go and kill <laughs> everyone. Take over the, all of Arkham Asylum. Uh, 
I'm know, surprised that the Gotham doesn't implement the death penalty. The amount of fucking criminals they got there. Well, I mean, if they did that, then they'd run out of villains. <laughs> Batman, bro, what am I going to do now? What am I doing in my life now? Well, that's the whole point of him, isn't it? He was like, I want, he wants to be at a time where there is no Batman. Hmm. But he, Bruce Wayne's just a, a masochist. A sadist. A sadist. He loves it. Yeah, Sam Sadist rather than Mexicans. Mm. Give me your core, you prick. No, don't oh, shoot me. Oh, you getting shot, Rosie. Let's take the take, little dude take out this first. Guy out. He jumped right over you, mate. Yeah. Fucking hell. He's lucky there. He can be in the Olympics, he could. Where's he's the other floating. Guy? Oh, he's over there. He's, he's, got, he's put a shield on now, Ros. That guy's getting his health back. Oh, they're regenerating. Clever girls. Dun, dun, dun. All right, back to you. Oh, you killed my friend, you asshole. You killed Dave. No, Davey. He's dead now. He was Poor beautiful. Dave bopped. He was the most beautiful one among <laughs> us. He was too good for this world. <laughs> I don't know no, what to say. Let's have it now. Fucking hell. Lovely. Yeah, nice, nice big, big yellow, yellow ball. Oh god, that like, reminds me of my balls. My <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, they're not yellow though. Alright, I think that's the place we're going to leave it today. Oh no! And then I think we might go and do some upgrading in between episodes oh. so that we're not just diving in and out of menus for an entire Oh yeah, because that, that would be very, very that, boring. That would be boring. Yeah. But also, another thing I should mention. What? What's that? You see, like, you've got a ground ring. Yeah. You can see yeah. it sometimes. Right. When you're jumping. Right. Helps with the platform. Oh, yeah, so, that. yeah, I saw it there, yeah. Was... But yeah, you, that, you really need that later oh, on in the God, game. Oh, Jesus when Christ. The platforming gets fucking mental. Oh, but yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying yeah, the hope play so. of this, yeah. as I think, massively underrated game. Yes. We, this whole Let's Play is just going to be a, a, us say how underrated this game is. <laughs> I'm going to say it at least once every yeah. episode. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully you're enjoying it, and uh, we're going to crack on next time. Bye. Bye.